Hello, it's Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the NAMM show in Anaheim, California, in the blessed calm and quiet mm. of a private booth, yep. which is owned by Focusrite Group. And we're here with Josh mm. from Adam Audio. How yep. are you doing, Josh? Doing good. How about you, Sam? Yeah, really enjoying the quiet in this yes, space. Yes, me too. It's lovely. <laughs> and uh, we're about to talk about the new Adam yep. A series range. Yep. So tell us about this, because the A-Series have been around for, oh, for oh, 20 years at least. For at least that. Yeah, it's, had, it's got through a couple, few different changes. Like the current series has been out for 10 years now, just about. So, yeah, so we it, it was time. It was ready to go. Because as, as you can see, like with our other lines, like our T-Series, S-Series, they've been redeveloped in the last couple of years. And the T-Series has been the newest one. So we're like, it's time for the A-Series. So, <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. we went to the launch of these in yep. Berlin a yep. couple of weeks ago. And... Mm -hmm. What struck me was it is this is much more than just a refresh yep. of the original yep. uh, current A series. This yep. is like a whole new range of monitors yep. almost, mm -hmm. and you've got several new formats yep. in there. So talk us through what's on offer. Yeah, so starting so with the previous line, we had multiple lines. We had A3X, we had an A5X, A7X, A8X, and a double seven. So starting with the A4V, we'll go over here. So this one was a we consolidated the A3X and the A5X into one monitor. So one was a three inch, one was a five inch. Now we have a four inch. That's how it does in the one. Next, we have the A7V, which is the A7X replacement. So that's been, you know, the tried and true one, the one that everyone's, from, everyone's familiar with. So in the line, though, these are the ones that are really cool. These are some of the newer designs that we have. So we'll start with the A77H. So this comes off the A77X that everyone's familiar with, but this time we added a mid driver to this one. So before it was a two and a half way configuration. So one driver did a full range, one extend up to about 300 Hertz. These ones, now these dual sevens run simultaneously with the, with the extra mid driver. So next we have the A44H and this one has been the most talked about one. <laughs> We're really excited about this one. So, so this is essentially like a two way. So it's a uh, dual fours. They're gonna run into simultaneously configuration and with a tweeter. But this one is gonna be interesting because this one you can use in many different applications. Like you can use it as a center channel. You can even use them in a stereo configuration. So yeah, we're really excited about this one. And then lastly, this is the new one to the line too. So this is called the A8H. So essentially we could look at this one saying that it replaced the A8X, which was a two-way design. This one now has an additional mid driver on it too. So we're really excited about this one. This one comes in a left and right configuration. So one's gonna be dedicated to the left side, one's gonna be dedicated to the right side. So we should explain that the letters V and H in the product yes. codes, they mean vertical and horizontal orientation. That's correct, yep. And also, as I understand it, the new 44 can yep. actually be rack mounted. Is that right? Yep, that one can. Wow, so that opens up a whole new world of possibilities for installations exactly. in, say, broadcast environments yep, and that's so it, where that's you might not have space for a yep. conventional monitoring setup. Exactly, yep. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, I mean, the, the key feature of the A series and most Adam yep. monitors f f going way back is the, yep. is the tweeter design. Yep, the tweeter, yep. So has that evolved at all in the new A-Series? So in the A-Series, it's still the same design. So the rims are still handmade in Germany. The one difference we have now is the waveguide, as you can see. So before, they didn't essentially have a waveguide. Now we've introduced the waveguide into it. So with our T-Series and S-Series, when you look at those, you'll see a lot of similarities in it. So essentially what it's going to do is going to give, so before it dispersed it, you know, at a larger spectrum. So now it's going to be more focused but in a wider configuration so when you're seeing your mix position it'll give you a wider sweet spot but when you look at the design it'll help reduce reflections from the bottom and the top so that's the biggest change with the tweeter and that's kind of why you need to use the monitor as horizontal or vertical as the name yep. product name suggests because you want that dispersion yep. in the right axis yeah. yep so one cool thing about that going to the tweeter to a new feature that has grind the vertical and horizontal um, aspects is this tweeter is now rotatable. So that's what you can see the A77H in a vertical position. Because I'm going to show, you can rotate the tweeter. So if you had to and your space was confined or you know your room wasn't wide enough, but you wanted to use these, you like the sound of them, you can put them in a vertical orientation and just rotate the tweeter. And all of them can do that. Awesome. So are these purely analog monitors or do they have DSP built in? They do have DSP built in. So that's another new feature from the old AX series to the new one is the ones where analog based, these are have DSP built in. And what can you actually do with this DSP? Yeah, so the DSP allows you to do multiple things. So for one, they have room, new room adaptations. So before, you just had simple analog controls to do the high frequency, low frequency. Now, and actually, let's, let's show up the back of one. We have these room adaptation controls in the back. So we have four basic ones. Obviously, your bass, desk, presence, and treble. So we all know what bass treble do, you know, <laughs> that 
there's two cool ones on here. So this one, this one's cool. So if you are have them on a desk, you can cut that if you need to, if you get those extra frequencies that are building because up. Because when there's a desk in front of the monitors, you always get a bump at 150. Exactly. Yeah. That's what that's for, yep. And then the presence just gives a little bit extra definition and that for like the upper mids. Um, so it's like a kind of halfway house between really complicated sort of room correction stuff yep. and basic EQ. Yep, exactly. That's exactly it. Yep. So along with that, we've also been able to add voicings on these. So with our S series, we have two different voicings, Peer and UNR. So what Peer is, that is like the flattest the monitor can possibly perform at. And then UNR, we call that kind of like the fun setting. That's like the client pleasing setting. You know, that's when you show the final mix on and stuff. But it just it, what it does is it gives like the best curves of what the monitor is exactly and i noticed you've got an rj45 socket there on the back yep what does that do yep <laughs> so so with this that's our new a control so that's what i was going to get to next so with a control all this allows you to control it from an app so instead of having to go behind the monitor to control the parameters you can actually just pull up on the app through the ethernet so with the a control going to the next part that there's additional features in there that are going to be that we're really excited about you can go in more in depth with the configurations of the monitor wow and i guess these days it's more and more important for yep. monitors not only to be usable in stereo but also yep. in surround configurations yep. is yep. that something that you're targeting with this as well absolutely we are yep so with atmos you know being just a huge thing these days and just immersive configurations you know that's going to allow you to control the monitor so if you have some on the ceiling you know you'll be able to access them from a control awesome so one thing I noticed that if, yeah. the, if there is a thing missing from this line is that yeah. there's no dedicated subwoofer, is that yeah. right? Yeah. Is that because we don't need one or mm -hmm. would you expect to pair it with a sub from one of the other Atom ranges? Yeah, absolutely. So we can still use our current line of Atom subs that we have right now to pair with them. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. And what sort of pricing and availability are we looking at? Yep. Yeah, so absolutely. So pricing A4Vs, those are $499 each. A7Vs are $799 each. Then those did start shipping. So those are hitting dealers right now. And these are going to be shipping late summer. So the A778 is $1299, the A4048H is uh, $699, and then the A8H is uh, $1499 each. And wow, so yep. really amazingly yep. thorough refresh for the A series range. Yep. yep. Looks incredible. Mm -hmm. And look forward to trying them yep. out. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Yeah, and there's one more thing too about going back to the A control as well. So, you know, aside from being able to control these parameters, you can also, there's six different EQ points you could do to adjust the monitors to it more at a more intricate level. So ones that are more needs to your room, you can adjust them from there. And lastly, this is a really cool feature that we're really excited about is the integration with Sonarworks. So now you can incorporate Sonarworks directly into the monitor. You calibrate your room, and instead of using the plugin or, uh, or system-wide, you can now store those calibration files directly through a control into the monitor itself without having to use the plugin. Awesome. So that totally simplifies the yep. workflow once you yep. get that set up. And yep. also it means there's no risk of accidentally bouncing your mix Correct. through the room correction. And many of us. That. Yep. It's definitely the best way <laughs> to use room correction. Yep, yep. Wow. So really, mm -hmm. Adam, mm -hmm. A series for the, for the 2020s. Yep. Well, I'm sure they'll be around for many more years many to come more. after that. So mm -hmm. thanks, Josh. Yep, of course, Sam. Thanks Great for having to us. See you. Uh, you too.